Hello world, and welcome to Kerbal Space Program. With the new year approaching, I feel it's time to bring back campaign mode. Campaign career mode, you know, with a new invigorating light. And very few mods this time, just mostly, you know, a bit extra here and there. And using the new tech tree and stuff, and I want you to be part of that. So, what we're going to have is, if you would like your name, if you would like a Kerbinaut named after you, please say so down in the comments or send me an email. I'll be uh, randomly naming some Kerbals anyway, but uh, yes, if you want Kerbal named, that'll be great and your Kerbal can come on adventures with us, which is going to be awesome. Preferably they won't explode, but who knows, some might. We're going for a very, you know, very low um, pile of mods today, or from now on, because the more mods you add, the more trouble you have with career tree, you know, the tech trees and all sorts. So first of all, most obvious one you can see here, we've got moving clouds. You can actually see these clouds in the world in-game, which is really cool, and they actually move around the planet. It's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. There's also clouds on a couple of other planets. Eve and Lathe, I believe. I don't know whether... Oh, there we go. Look at Lathe, huh? Very pretty. Yeah, I don't know whether Jewel has added has been added uh, added to by the mod, but uh, certainly looks pretty. Here we go. Look at that. Very gaseous. Very cloudy. Very pretty. And all the other plants have back. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, other mods are uh, Kerbal Attachment System. Uh, we've got some twisted shuttle engines, basically. And ooh, a Kerbal Engineer. Um, and Roboman robotic manipulator arm parts. And that's actually about it. Oh, and interior cockpits for the Mark II and Mark III cockpits. The internal views. And, of course, all these mods will be actually linked in full in the description. So you can check that out. And um, this is kind of like an episode zero kind of deal. What we're going to do is we're actually going to... We're going to get our first little tech node, basically. Because there's not not too much difference you can do in the beginning. And I'm feeling... Oh, I'm feeling really good to get into, uh, get into the campaign again. And there's not too much difference. See, we don't have any, any extra parts, really, other than... Um, we don't really have any extra parts other than the old uh, flight engineer. There it is. It's, uh, it's actually just strapped it on there for no real reason. It's going to be fun. But it will look like it's doing something. Get me that area. I'm just going to make a very simple little pod to launch a Kerbal up, which is pretty much all you can do this early on. Parachute. Um, we could use exploding rocket theory, which is nice. Yeah, this uh, exploding rocket theory. The idea here is that uh, when the second booster ignites, it'll just blow the first one off, destroying the node. So we'll uh, we'll see if that works. It'll be our first test. No decouplers, you see, on these first stages. And we'll just call this um, mag. Magnesium one. <laughs> I don't know. Magnesium one. I was thinking mercury and magnesium is kind of a squidgy metal, not a liquid metal. Mm. My naming schemes are bad. If you got names for rockets and stuff, suggest them. You know, if you got ideas for what we could do. Basically, um, how I want this to work is. Oh, camera angle change. How I want this to work is say, right. At the end of an episode, we've got some points to spend on a tech tree node. In the comments, I want you to tell me what node I should take, you know, what tech tree node I should unlock next, and what type of, you know, what kind of thing I should do next. What, what should I try? Obviously, there's certain limitations, like you know, I can't launch certain things into some places without certain parts. But you get the drift here. Yeah? The idea. So at the end of every episode, you know, I'll ask you to. I'll ask you to choose the next tech tree, the next tech, tech node we unlock, and the next kind of styles of missions that we should have coming up. 
I'm taking all suggestions. It's going to be fun because I, I want this to be a back and forth between us, you know, because because I feel I haven't um, I haven't been doing enough for you guys actually lately at all, have I? So we're gonna we're gonna begin this rocket SAS on for no reasons other than burning the battery, and uh, so just to check out our numbers for no reasons that probably drains battery too, and Godspeed Jebediah in five, four, three, two, one ignition. And we have a good lift off. As you can see, the clouds in the sky look very pretty. We actually do get above the cloud layer, which is nice. There's also lights uh, in the night. There's like false cities, which is kind of pretty. A little bit funky, but pretty. Jeb is loving this. We are uh, going up to uh, 0.6 Gs. Oh, wow, it's all there. <laughs> Crazy. And continuing on, and hopefully that will overheat and explode. And uh, we will, of course, take a crew report at Apoapsis, which is currently 5 kilometers, and increasing now since we've lost the dead weight. Ah, 15 kilometers, 20 kilometers, 25 kilometers. Jeb, you're going for it, man. You know, we might be able to get a, a really nice suborb. Whoa! Okay, sir. It's, uh,. See where that apoapsis is going to go to. Extend our antenna. Looks like we're going to probably peak out about 35 kilometers for apoapsis. By the time. Look at all these clouds, man. Isn't that pretty? Just adds another layer of detail to the whole world, literally. And I know they're quite simplistic, but they're beautiful. Very nice. Very pleased with that. All right, here we go. We need to uh, take a crew report. You'll record the crew's assessment of the situation, and we will transmit that back. And we've got some science. And you know what? Can we do that again? No transmission data. Okay, so uh, what we'll do then is we'll take a crew report and we'll keep it. Okay. And we've drained half the battery there. Now. Oh no, we got over 40 kilometers altitude. Look at that. I didn't change the star field or anything. Very pretty. We came from down there. <laughs> Actually, you know what? How'd you like to fall? <laughs> you start feeling you should really get back into your ship. Yeah. You can't transmit from here, so I'll just uh, keep it with me. Our first little EVA, just a quick uh, open the door, hang our heads out. I'm pretty sure they actually flew the uh, the Gemini around a couple occasionally with the door open. Maybe it was Mercury, I don't know. We're just going to let this baby fall. And time skip. We seem to be moving just slow enough for no re-entry effect. Which is interesting. Hmm. I was expecting fireworks. And deploy the parachute. Recenter that camera. Yeah, it's actually nice to see more of the screen now. I've actually got a bigger monitor now. Uh, this monitor is actually twice the size of my previous monitor. This is, um, I don't know, it's like 23 inches or something. Which pretty much shows how small my previous monitor was and I should not have a lot of the resolution issues I was having while recording a lot of things and three two one touchdown <laughs> and we got rid of the crap too so let's uh, go to the space center you're throttled up I'm throttled up am I? oh yeah I am <laughs> don't know what, I don't even know why I throttled up wow okay we could take a soil sample as well just stack our data. Yeah, test the ground here because we landed here and we might have taken space dirt with us. Whatever that is. Let's sample the soil. It's very muddy and sandy. There might be a body of water nearby. Well, you know what? Your sense of situational awareness is unparalleled. Oh, there's trees over there. Oh no, they're just lights. Um. 
Let's plant a flag, shall we? Nah, it's not. Let's plant plant flags are for only other planets. Otherwise, this place is going to be littered every time we come back. Okay, space center. Game don't explode. Did I not receive any science? I received just the three. Okay. And what do I do with this? Oh, I've got... I didn't return the vehicle, did I? Clever boy. Go on. Didn't actually recover, did I? Big button on the top of the screen. So what do we get? 19.6 out of that. 8 for the EV report in the upper atmosphere. 30 for a bit of dirt that we landed on. Okay, it's quite a lot. Wait, 30 data gathered, and that was 9 science. Okay, that's 9 science. Okay. Cool. Lovely. And of course, there's no reason giving you a choice here, because uh, we can just unlock this one. Research. Aha! Now we've gained uh, some liquid fuel parts. We've also got our first mod parts. Um, normally, it kind of feels wrong having these parts be still this cheap, despite having more in them. But, to be honest, there's not really much I can do with that in the state of the game right now without fucking up everything else uh, we actually have enough points for that which is insane we actually have enough points for any of these oh good lord um okay here's your choice actually 18 points we could just can we get one of the no, yeah we can just get one of these two alright we can't currently afford that one but we can afford either the winglet the, the radial decoupler and the cone or survivability, landing gear, radial parachute, and the small orbital engine, the LV-909. So basic rocketry, well, stability or survivability, those are your choices, guys. What should we take next? Um, that's going to be it, really short, just start off episode zero. Right, I want to know your thoughts, I want to know, I want to know what you'd like to see, um, ideas, give me those Kerbal names. Let's get this shit on the road, man. All the way to space. Because we got we got to get out there. we got to get out of there. I, I've not been to so many of the planets. We have to go. Out there. Bye!